Hi, we shall continue on the topic of turbine. We are still in the construction section where we have already looked at the construction for nozzle guide vanes, the turbine disc and contra-rotating turbine. So for this particular video, we will go through the turbine blades as well as the dual alloy disc. Okay, the turbine blades are of an airfoil shape designed to provide passages between adjacent blades that give a steady acceleration of the flow up to the throat where the area is the smallest and the velocity reaches that required at exit to produce the required degree of reaction. The actual area of each blade cross-section is fixed by permitted stress in the material used and by the size of any holes which may require for cooling purposes. So some of the uh, turbine blades are uh, being designed in such a way it has cooling holes coming through the uh, construction of the blades. High efficiency demands thin trailing edges to the test to the sections, eh? but a compromise has to be made so as to prevent the blades cracking due to the temperature changes during engine operations. The method of attaching the blades to the turbine disc is of considerable importance as well. Soon, since the stress in the disc around the fixing or in the blade root has an important bearing on the limiting rim speed. The blades on the early Whittle engine were attached by the D Laval bulb root fixing. Okay. But this design was soon superseded by the fir tree fixing that is now used in the majority of the gas turbine engine. So this type of fixing involves very accurate machining to ensure that the loading is hard by, the, by all the serrations. The blade is also free in the serrations when the turbine is stationary and is stiffened in the root by centrifugal loading when the turbine is rotating. So various methods of blade attachment are shown in figure 5.9. However, the BM, BMW hollow blade and the D Laval bulk root types are not now generally used on gas turbine engines. Right, so we have the fur tree root with locking plate, okay, as shown here. Okay, and you can see the fur tree shape as shown in this uh, figure and fur tree root with shank seals eh, has been shown now in, in this particular uh, figure. And um, the previous old engines uh, using D Laval bulb root, okay, they just uh, having like a shape of a a bulb, okay, and a BMW hollow blade with retaining pin as shown here, which is uh, no longer being used nowadays. A gap exists between the blade tips and the casing, which varies in size due to the different rates of expansion and contraction. Okay, so uh, I put back figure 5.1, which shows the triple stage turbine with single shaft system eh, to reduce the loss of efficiency through gas leakage across the blade tips. A shroud is often fitted. Eh? We have a shroud. So this is what we call the, the shroud. Okay, just to enclose the um, turbine section to reduce the loss of 
efficiency of gas leakage. Okay, the shroud itself is made up by small segment at the tip of each blade, which forms a very ring around the blade tips. And a breadable lining in the casing may also be used to reduce gas leakage. So, so we want to ensure that as much as possible uh, to reduce the gas leakage. Active clearance control. ACC is more effective method of maintaining minimum tip clearance. We, want, we don't want the tip clearance to be too large. It's just, just nice to allow uh, the blade to move. Um, air from the compressor is used to cool the turbine casing. Okay, The turbine casing also needs to be cooled down when used with shroudless Turbine blade. So there are cases no shroud being used. You we need to have a stream of air from the compressor to be used to cool down the turbine casing, which enables higher temperature and speeds to be used in the cycle. Now we look into the last part of the construction, which is the dual alloy disc. As we all know, very high stresses are imposed on the blade root, okay, fix, blade, blade root fixing of high work rate turbines, which make conventional methods of blade attachment impractical. That's why the D Laval method as well as the BMW method are not being used anymore. So this figure, figure 11, shows a section through a dual alloy disc where we have a cast blade ring diffusion bond and a powder disc. A dual alloy disc or known as BLISC as shown in figure 511 has a ring of cast turbine blades bonded to the disc. Okay. Uh, this type of turbine is suitable for small high power helicopter engines. That's all for now. We will continue in the following video to look at the compressor turbine matching. Bye-bye for now.